Welcome once again. Right now we're in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. By nature, objects of God's wrath. Paul continues his letter to the saints in Ephesus, saying, You were made alive when you were dead in transgressions and sins, in which you once walked, notice, once walked, which means they don't anymore, according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air. This particular term, the prince of the power of the air, is actually a term from the Apocrypha. Paul didn't just pull this term out of a hat, okay? He just didn't make this up. The spirit who now works in the children of disobedience. The children of disobedience are not the children of God. Remember, Jesus himself said to a whole lot of people, you are children of the devil, not children of God. A lot of people think today that everybody is a child of God. Oh, we're all children of God. That is a bunch of nonsense. We also all once lived among them in the lusts of our flesh, doing the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. By nature, children of wrath. A lot of people think that, you know, that nature is just all of God's creation. Therefore, if God created it like that, it's got to be good. And if it's natural, then it's got to be good. Here we see the absolute opposite being taught to you in the scriptures, in the New Testament. By nature, children of wrath. Just because it's created like that doesn't mean it's right or good. By nature, children of wrath even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy for his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, don't forget the context here, we are the saints, okay? Paul wrote to the saints in Ephesus, not the sinners in the world, not the sinners in the church, to the saints, when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and made us to sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Very, very powerful. Remember in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, Paul said, I am crucified with Christ. It's not like, oh, you know, Christ paid the price so that I don't have to. He paid the debt so that I don't have to. Nonsense. He said, I am crucified with Christ. And we are raised with him. And it's more than being crucified with Christ. It's more than just being raised from the dead with Christ. We are also with him in his ascension to the right hand of God the Father. It says here we are made to sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. By faith we were crucified with Christ. By faith we rose from the dead with Christ. That's being born again. And by faith we ascended with Christ to the right hand of God the Father. So in the Spirit, by faith, we sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Seek him with all your heart. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. It's awesome. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.